are just working on um, Game Shakers right now. My movie with Billy Joe Armstrong came out in October, and the Peanuts movie came out. I can't spoil a lot, but we may have something coming up with another show. Don't really know, though. Um, everything's not confirmed, um, but maybe that will happen, I'm hoping. And then we have no idea what the episodes are about, but season two, there's a ton of romance, which is really awesome to see how our characters grow. And there's a lot of guest stars from old Nickelodeon shows. Nathan Cress is actually in one of the episodes, which is really fun because his wife, London, was also on the episode. So that's pretty cool. And then Nathan Cress directs all the time, and I love Nathan. He's probably, I like him the best out of the directors. He's my favorite director because he relates to us, and he was on a Dan Snow, Dan Snyder show, so he knows like how the pace is, and he knows what to tell us to make us do it. Yeah, but right now, I'm just like chilling out, hanging out with my family and my brothers, and working on Game Shakers. Anytime I have a problem, I'm like, what would mom do? Let me go tell mom. Whenever I wanted to start acting, I went to her first. I was about four years old whenever I heard like, like a radio ad for something and I was like, oh, I want to do that. And she's like, oh, she'll probably outgrow it. And that never happened. And I kept on bugging her about it. And finally she was like, okay, we'll try it. So we went to AMTC, which is like an acting convention. And we did that and I got an agent in North in New York, so we moved out to New York, I booked a Broadway show, we stayed out here for seven years, and then we moved to LA whenever I booked Game Shakers. My dad quit his job and so did my mom. My mom transferred her job out to New York and um, they all like, they've all been really supportive, which is really great. My grandmother's always supported me as well, and she has a scrapbook of like almost everything that I've done, and she has like a picture of everything, and I look back on those scrapbooks, and I'm like, oh my god, that was forever ago, and she still has it. So I am with No Cut Hungry, and that's an organization in which they give food to kids who are less fortunate and don't have the chance to eat breakfast or lunch or dinner like the average person. And as soon as I heard that like there's numerous kids in the world that aren't being able to have dinner or lunch or breakfast or even eat for the course of a couple of days, it's just very devastating. And we've lost so many people to hunger and starvation that it's just... It was just too much, so I want to spread the word, and I want it to rise up. I want to be more involved in Neiman Pick Disease Foundation. Um, my cousin Zoe, she died at the age of two from Neiman Pick Disease, and it's a, it's a disease where fat accumulates on your organs, and she was two at the time, and it was just like really sad because they didn't know a cure, and the Neiman Pick Disease disease foundation it goes towards finding a cure for it and helping all these kids and these adults that have name and pick so I'm very fortunate to have what I have and there's people in the world that don't have the things that I have so you've always got to be grateful for what you do have always be positive I mean Hamilton right here I mean I can play Eliza I can play Peggy I can play all of them I've got all the words down pat I want to be a neurosurgeon whenever I'm older if um, that's always my backup plan because I'm obsessed with Grey's Anatomy and my mom's a nurse and I've always wanted to be working somewhere in a hospital. If it's a nurse, if it's a doctor, but now I'm really into like the brain so I want to be a neurosurgeon and it's eight years of school so my plan to get all of this done is eight ninth and 10th grade of high school in um, one year and then 11th and 12th in the other year and then that way I can take college classes early and start getting the like neuroscience degree earlier so that way I won't like in the long run it won't be as long of school like I won't be as old as you would be as a normal kid so I will be younger like two years younger so that way I can accomplish more in my lifespan.